Welcome to Chris Love Stamps, new mailbag episode. Nice stamps, I do like these. Um, they're simple, they're, you know. Maybe that's the Dutch Magians. Um, this is depicting, she's now princess, but back then she was queen Beatrix. She's the mother of uh, our current king, Willem Alexander. And yeah, there's five stamps of it. There, let's see if I, we can have a closer look. Different denominations, very nice. Nice little stock book. Nice. And it's the one cent or two pence Mauritius or see. Nice. Let's have a look into it. Black pages, I do like that. Football. Interesting perforations, but you see it nowadays more. Pretty modern stamp. And yet, I'm um, all these episodes I've been improvising. You know how I film this. It's with an older phone, but um, there's a like a separate standard coming in now for an holder for phone it will make it easier so <clears throat> stamps of sweden yeah they look some look older some look very newer top down i believe a newer one This one caught my eye, the lighthouse. It's interesting cancellation. <clears throat> yeah, it should be the king, I believe. I do know their kingdom, but uh, to be honest, I don't know a lot about them. Interesting. Insulation too. Yeah, there's multiple pages here. Let's see what caught my catch my eye. Can't really read if it's a well known engraver. Wood, what are they doing? Reminds me of what they do in North Northwestern United States, maybe in Canada too, that they put these logs in rivers or in streams and it goes then, you know, it's an easy way to transport them. So yeah, this is, uh, I paid um, three euros for it, but with uh, postage, it was also three euro, euro, so six euros in total for this book. Not sure how many pages are there, eight or something. I do believe uh, there were something that I counted, 330 stamps. I'm not sure if they're all unique, but yeah, it's uh, it's also the risk, you know. I do believe that the book is not in the best of. See, came off here. It's just completely, yeah. Not in the best state, that's what I was trying to tell. So, these, these seem to be newer ones. This small fishing boat or a 
of the colors. Göteborg. I've been there. Been to Sweden once. Not sure when it was actually. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Might be 20 years ago or something. 15, 20 years ago? I don't know. Just uh Lovely country, very, very nice country, but yeah, it's so different than where I live, so yeah. Rud Kula, would that be Rud would be red and Kula would be cow or something? I don't know. <clears throat> nice simple design. Uh, Sweden does that a lot, eh? With I'm not sure how you call it, with no perforations on one side or multiple sides, like here. Uh, to be honest, I'm not too much of a fan of it, but it's yeah, it happens a lot. Nobel Prize, cos sorry, guys called Cosa, not sure. Yeah, Nobel Prize, I. Uh, it's almost every year in Stockholm, named after Alfred Nobel. So, let's check some Sweden. Furthermore, it's really religious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Nobel Prize again. Not such a. It's a bit. Not the best of it's damaged there in 1986, I believe. Hmm, it's a pity that it's so bad. Hmm. Uh, huh. Reminds me of Niels Hogerson. How do you call him? Yeah, they're not all in the best of states, but. Nice to have a start, isn't it? So, not too sure who's... Drottning Sylvia. Would Drottning be crowning of Sylvia? Could be. Interesting cancellation. Helsingborg. Two thousand and one. Looks older this. So, <laughs> really interesting, cool. <clears throat> it's Christmas, I believe. Looks like some sort of first day issue stamp uh, cancellation. Not sure why I think that, but. It's a feel. Nice beer. Been to the beer park too, there, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, it's stunning nature there, Sweden. Let's see where. Oh, there's even a number on it. It's like every fifth or ten might have it, or. I think I saw that with Germany too. Not that it's limited to Germany, but. See the different sides perforations. Yeah. Very colorful one, colorful. Stands out a bit. Yeah. Very nice. This looks like. I can't really see it that much. Is it like a ship in trouble? Is that stormy seas? Hmm.
Hm, interesting image. Yeah, like some sort of a horn and a, I don't know if it's a viking or something that's that you maybe expect. Yeah, can go through them all. Nobel Prize again. Colors of Sweden. I think the outlining of the camera has a bit changed because I touched it. Let's see, yeah, maybe it's better now. Yeah, something we work need to work on anyway. Hmm? I love these coat of arms, you know, things. It's like, I think almost every country has them, you know. I know Luxembourg has them, France has them. Um, I do believe Germany too. I don't know, it's like, I love them. Like, 1984, yeah. So we're at the last page. This is a bit more chaos. Nice little ship. And not really that glossy, it's like there's really, yeah, I shouldn't touch it, but, oh, I see, could be a series, not sure which year it is, look newer, and also in good shape, or, oh yeah, it's a bit damaged there, hmm, okay, ah, good old telephone, yeah, <laughs> And yeah, very striking. Cancellation in Stockholm. 1969, this is celebrating, I think, 10 years. Yeah, 10 years, Europa Sept. So yeah, and there's some here. But yeah, this is uh, the little book. The little book of Sweden. Um, thanks for watching. Keep loving your stamps. Take care of yourself. See you next time.